hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's clarice here if you never know now you know guys go ahead like and subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to click that notification bell whenever time i upload you guys are the first to be notified so guys makeup is all about having fun so just sit back relax and let's just have fun with makeup going in with my us has um eyeshadow palette guys it's a drugstore product and I'm going to use that shadow using my Ashley F20 blending brush guys I'm just going to blend all over my lid because as you can see from the title of my video it's going to be it's just an everyday look guys a look that can just go anywhere to the movie to church to the office anywhere guys to the mall this is just a simple look on the red carpet this is also guys a red carpet look so guys just let's have fun with makeup what i'm doing there now guys i'm just patting my um that um shadow all over the lid there it's going to be simple quick and easy going in now with my dual lash glue and i'm just applying it on to my lid there to apply on my lashes Going in now with my simple facial toner, I am cleaning my face with that little cotton pad. You always guys want to clean your face. And for moisturizer, I'll be using my CeraVe moisturizer and it's going to use that little flat brush there to apply it in. For primer, I'll be using my LA Girl Primer. For foundation, I'll be using the Micola BB foundation, guys. It's a drugstore product. Sorry, I didn't show you guys it. But guys, it's it's a drugstore product. I've never used it before. I bought it locally here in Jamaica for maybe around five or six hundred Jamaican dollars. Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap, guys. But I really think I really like this foundation. I am applying the darker foundation which is zero two to the lower part of my face then i'm not going to go in and apply the lighter foundation into my into, to the inner portion of my face guys i really think this micola foundation is i like it guys the coverage is cool it's really nice give me a really nice coverage guys going in with a lighter one as i said to the inner portion of my face Taking up now that flat brush with the lighter shade, which is 02. And I'm going to apply it to the inner portion of my face, as I said earlier on. And I'm going to blend it downwards into the darker shadow and just marry everything together. Let everything just transition and look seamless.
what i'm doing there now guys i'm taking the foundation to clean up above my brow i didn't know if you guys noticed that i did not do above my my brow this is what i started to do off lately i take my foundation and clean up above my brows it's looking a little bit here dark now guys but when i go in with my concealer i know the concealer will just tone down the look a bit and everything will just blend blend seamless going in now guys with a damp beauty blender to do a further blending now i'm going to go down onto my neck guys don't forget to blend the foundation come down on your neck and your chest let everything just transition seamlessly For concealer, I'll be using my Jordana Honey Miles number 11 and I am applying to my under eye, the bridge of my nose, my forehead and around my mouth where I have those dark discoloration. taking now my damp beauty blender from real techniques and i'm going to blend out the highlighted areas and i'm using tapping motion and i'm pushing the product into my skin i'm not dragging i am pushing the product into my skin because you don't want to disturb the foundation underneath so i am using tapping motion and i'm using a damp beauty blender And for contour, I'll be using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And I'm taking up the darkest shadow. With that fluffy brush, guys, I'm starting from my forehead. And I'll come down to my jaw and under my, my cheeks. Taking up that little small pencil looking brush, that brush is from LA Girl and I am just dipping into that contour palette, the dark shadow and I'm just going to contour my nose, I'm just going to draw two straight lines come down on my nose with a steady hand. And to soften that contour on my nose, I'll be using my Down for Beauty Blender from Real Techniques. Just putting a little bit more of the concealer on the bridge of my nose, guys. I just felt like I lost it, so I'm just applying a little bit more. Um, guys, this is a, a, a trick that I learned here on YouTube. This is called reverse contour. 
what I'm doing now, I'm using a translucent powder and I'm just drawing a line with that like a flat brush right under the contour guys just to lift the contour a bit going in now guys with my powder brush powder puff sorry guys also guys i am lifting the contour this is what you call reverse contour that you can highlight the contour and lift the contour a little bit more guys i almost forgot that i did not set my concealer under my eyes duh it happened to the best of us guys so guys i'm using my damp beauty blender again and i'm dipping into the translucent powder sorry i didn't show you guys the translucent powder but i think that translucent powder that i'm using is from la girl and guys you don't you always want to blow off the extra amount of concealer using also guys my translucent powder with that little brush and i am just softening the end the beginning of my brow here guys i want my brows to look a little bit softer what i'm doing there guys i'm taking that little fluffy brush there and i am um blending my contour upwards guys then i'm just going to dust away the excess powder for the contour guys you always want to blend upwards set my complete face i'll be using the santi mineralize press powder guys in the shade number five and i'm using that fluffy brush guys just to go over my face with the press powder and it's just to set my place and just marry everything together And to set my complete face, I'll be using the Ailey setting spray and I'm just using a generous amount because after all the powder guys, you want to spray it on your face and get the powder all oxidized into your skin. For bronzer guys, I'll be using this drugstore product. Don't remember the name of this bronzer guys, but I'll put it in the description box. With that little fluffy brush guys, I'm just going over all the contour areas and just bring back a little bit of more just bronze up the face a little bit more guys <laughs> into that palette from Osas and I'm going to take that little small brush with that same little dark shadow there guys that I use on my lid just to line the bottom half of my eyes what I'm doing there now I'm wiping off that same brush you always want to have wipes near you guys wiping off now that same brush dipping back into that palette and i'm picking up that white shadow there and i'm going to put it in my waterline there guys just to open my eyes a little bit more <laughs> And for a blusher, guys, I'll be using this cream blusher. It's a magic collection plush blush. It said plush brush. Yes, guys. And it's a cream, a cream consistency, guys. Then I'm going to go in now with my damp beauty blender and just to tap over it lightly. <laughs> For 
for highlight I'll be using my Maybelline New York Master Chrome Studio Metallic Highlighter the highlighter and aluminizer and this is in the shade 100 and I'm just going to highlight all the eye points of my face and I'm using that small little blending brush there <music> up now guys that dark shadow from my black radiance true complexion contour palette and I'm going to use it to line my lips I'm just going to pop on some lip gloss guys it has no name I'm just going to pop on some lip gloss just to finish and get the look together on my face again guys with my Maybelline setting spray then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and I'm going to tap lightly all over my face mm -hmm. 